Cheers. Hello! Welcome to 3 Live, guys. First of all, I want to thank all the supporters for everything, for all the mentions, all the follows, all the shout outs, everything. Okay. We appreciate okay. all you guys. We want to continue to make this great podcast for you. Today, I am Tyler Green. Of course, this is my boy, Corey Anding. This is my boy, Lenard. You can follow Corey on Twitter at Corey, K O R Y D O E underscore. That's Corey Doe. It's in the bio in our Twitter page. And follow us. I will say the name in 10 seconds. And this is Lenard. One loading instead of the L, it's the I. So make sure you follow the NAR. You know, and follow our Twitter, please. Three Live TV. At Three Live TV. You understand? So, first topic of discussion today RG3. What is the deal? What are the Redskins doing? What is Jay Gruden doing? I'm not understanding. Fellas, can y'all give me something? Something. Give me Man, something. You can stop. I feel as though it's a mistake. Her cousins is not a starting quarterback in the NFL. He's not what Jay Gruden thinks he is. I don't really see that. RG3 is a tremendous talent. Everyone's seen him at Baylor. I'm trying to figure out, like, maybe if his old line wasn't a bunch of girls. No <laughs> offense to my ladies, but you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. He I could do numbers. Agree. You saw what he was really doing before he got hurt. Right, man. Played the Seahawks. His rookie season was amazing, yeah. man. Would have won it if he never got hurt. Yep. But. Well, look, bottom line is, Redskins trash regardless. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It, it, okay. it really don't matter agree. who you put at quarterback. Like, Kirk Cousins, RG3, they ain't going to block for RG. My, they might as well trade him. I mean, he ain't doing nothing. And, well, if you're confused. I think he done if he staying Washington. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Thank cool. Right. All right, if what we're talking about, Reports today from ESPN and multiple sources around the NFL League. The Redskins coach Jay Gruden has announced in via press conference today that Kirk Cousins will be the 2015 starter for the Washington Redskins. You know, I'm just lost for words, man. You know, it's, you see they're laughing. It's pretty hilarious. It doesn't make sense. You give up on your guy for no reason. It makes no sense to me, man. Like, RG3 is great talent. No, he took you 10 and 6 in the rookie season. <laughs> I'm just not understanding, man. My record on the Redskins, since we all giving out records, man, they're going to go like what? 4 and 12. Tops, what's yours? 2 and 14. What's yours? 2 and 14. 3 and 13. Anyway. That's that. Yeah. But, but, but I, uh, honestly, you never know with the Redskins because they, they win some little flu. They get their flu games. They're I mean, little, they some losers. They're a little wishy washy, man. They win their little flu games. Wishy washy, man. This is how they beat my Cowboys last year. But it's all right. He's definitely a Cowboys fan. You it's know, all right, big guy as a Patriots we fan. I love Aaron Rodgers. It's life. So, we are giving out our NFL predictions at this point MVP predictions, Super Bowl predictions. We're giving out our opinion on the Tom Brady suspension. All that good stuff. The Packers receiver situation. Um, let's start with the Packers. So, as you guys probably know, if not, from multiple reports, including ESPN and, of course, the, the Packers national website, Jordy Nelson is done for the season with a torn ACL. Number 87 for the uh, wide receiver for the Packers. Um, that's a tough blow for my guy, Aaron. It hurts me dearly because the, pa the Packers was supposed to bounce back, you know, but without Jordy, I don't see them making that much noise. Even though Randall Cobb is great, I'm not going to say he's not, but. He got hurt too, yeah, he got right? Hurt. He went down. Yeah. He got hurt too. Randall Cobb is hurt as well, guys. You see, yeah. you see, it, it just hurts me. Because all these injuries in the preseason, you understand? We can't even see the great Packers team because of injuries in the preseason, you know? I, it just hurts my heart, you know? But my our predictions on the Packers, I got um ten and six Packers. The Green Bay Packers. Eleven and five. But I do think that even though the man is old, and I'm not just saying this because he's my favorite player, I believe that the Green Bay Packers should sign Randy Moss. They have no one else to throw it to. They've lost Jermichael Finley. He's a free agent now. There's no Randall Cobb. There's no Jordy Nelson. I 
I don't know who Aaron Rodgers. I mean, he's a great quarterback, but I just don't see him as a Tom Brady where he can make a receiver, you know, good. So I think they should give Randy that call. See what the old man still got. Honestly, don't care too much for the Packers, but uh, I'd, I'd say Tennessee. Stay, just one of them healthy teams that stay on the yeah. stay in that top tier. So again, he is a Cowboys fan. So let's talk about your boys. It was a catch. Man. Let's talk about your boys. Man. It was a catch. So, it was. That's it was like, a catch. It was definitely a catch. Yeah. We agree. It was a catch. Right. Diz, you're the best wide receiver yeah. in the league. Don't let yes, anyone yes, yes. else tell you otherwise, yeah. boy. We throwing up the X bag. Yes, sir. Let's rock and roll, man. So how y'all feel like Cowboys gonna be this season, man? How you feel? Let's start off with 12 and 4. 12 and 4. You, you think they got strong assets? They lost Scandrick. You know he's done. I'm glad he's done. Because he be getting ate up. He can't guard nobody. He the reason we lost to the Packers. All them corners. Mm. Morris Claiborne, I don't know what he be doing. But he only had one bad game and we benched him. I ain't like that. But and it was against the Rams. But 12 and 4. We gonna get it done. I feel like the Cowboys easily probably eleven to five because last season they surprised me. It was pretty amazing, but you know they had Demarco. But the O line is going to make Darren McFadden look good, just as Demarco. In my opinion, Demarco was amazing, best running back in the league last year easily. But the O line made him great. I'm sorry if you don't feel that way, then I'm sorry. But the O line made him great. You know, no disrespect to him though. How you feel about that record? Thirteen and three. Tony Romo, outstanding. I don't see where the hate comes from. The man gets it done. He got the best wide receiver in the NFL. He got Jason Witten. He got young shorty uh, Terrence Williams. I just feel like the Cowboys going to get it done. They're going to yeah. get it done this Cole year. Cole Beasley's a sleeper. Beasley. He is nasty. Even though he's 5'8", hey, he's nasty. And of course, they have the, the best, whatever, the best wide receiver in the league. And we all know that. So, yeah, the Cowboys going to be pretty nasty, you know? What's up with your Patriots, man? How you feeling about that? Mm. You know, since, you know, as we all know, Tom is done for four games due to allegations of the deflate gate. You know, it, it, it hurts him. You know, it's pretty crazy. I didn't look into the situation as I should have as a sports lover, but I definitely feel as though Tom Brady got this because of his greatness. Tom Brady is great. He's the second best quarterback in the league. Like, is is there something wrong? Yeah. What? He's the best quarterback. Sorry, Aaron Rodgers didn't pass away. <laughs> well, he didn't win the Super Bowl last year either. Nor did he make it to the Super Bowl last year either. I mean, I respect your opinion. Aaron Rodgers is better, but I respect your opinion because of what he done. But Aaron Rodgers is better. That's Four always beats one, so, you know, I got to respect you. Four always beats one, right? Well, simple, simple and plain. Patriots gonna be three and one without Tom Brady. Gonna win the first three games. Mm -hmm. I, I give it to him. Gonna lose to the Cowboys. I give him that. Okay. But after that, once he's back, probably gonna lose again. How far are they going? Super Bowl. Winning. It depends mm, on who. Depends they on who they play. If they play the depends Packers play. or the Seahawks. They play the Packers or the Cowboys. They'll probably lose. So you don't see the Seahawks getting to the NFC Championship? They Me probably either. can, but I just don't. I don't. I see feel as though that. The Packers can probably beat them, mm -hmm. and I know the Cowboys. Because I knew the Cowboys could have beat them last year. Right. But I mean, that's just me. All right. That's everyone definitely. doesn't think like me. Definitely, I respect your opinion, big dog. I respect your opinion. You see, this it's all about opinions. That's what all sports debates are about, guys. You know. Um, one last team, Seahawks. If if you if you want us to talk about your team, please DM us. We will talk about your team. We can give the predictions because we're not going through all. What is it, 32 teams? 32 teams when half of them teams are trash. No offense to the Dolphins. No offense to the Rams. No offense to, to everybody whoa, 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 whoa. else. Rams. Anyways. They got a little shorty. You're going to see. I'm going to let you get yeah, yeah, all Todd Gurley. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Todd yeah, yeah. Gurley. Yeah, and they got Trey Mason. Yeah, yeah. 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 Watch out. Nick Foles. Nick Foles. Nick Foles. Yeah. Nick Foles and Tate Anyways, and guys. And defense good. Watch anyways. Out. And Bills is good. Anyways. Anyways. What are y'all Super Bowl predictions? Who's gonna win? Who's gonna lose? Who's gonna go? Colts and mm. versus. It's tough. I, I, you know, I want. You know who I want to say. Yeah. But I. Just, but you gotta I, respect I know how we be. Yeah, I got Jimmy Graham, bro. Yeah. Jimmy yep. Graham. He's a dog. As you know, Jimmy Graham is. We can't stop a rookie now. receiver from the Packers in the playoffs. 
Jimmy Graham. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Graham, bro. I know y'all seen we did the little dude the other day. Hey, Jimmy Graham's a monster. Hey, right. 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 How, how you, who's winning, who's losing, who's going? I'm going Patriots or Packers or Patriots or Cowboys. Simple as that. And either way, I think that my Patriots will probably lose. That's Tennessee <sighs> Tom. I got the Cowboys versus. I got the Cowboys versus the, um, either the Patriots or, like he said, the Colts. Because Andrew Luck is amazing. And the Colts are pretty stacked this year, really. Oh, think about it. Frank exactly. They're pretty stacked. Yeah. And they still have T.Y. Hilton. Like, come on, man. The Colts are nasty. And Kobe Fleener. Andrew Luck and Kobe Fleener when the Cardinals are together, too. Yes. Hey. Man, look. That's our NFL predictions. If you want anything else, just let us know. DM us. We got you next time. Now we're moving on to our favorite sport. All three of our favorite sports, the hardwood. <laughs> <laughs> Bang! So, let's get it, man. First off, the D. Rose rape allegations. Um, You know, according to multiple reports um, from the Chicago Bureau, we definitely seen that Derrick Rose has talked about his you know, try to defend himself from the situation. He said, quote unquote, I will prove myself guilty. So, what's your guys' situation? And what's your guys' opinion on it? I mean, um, I mean, do you, what? You know you just said, I will prove myself guilty? That's exactly, I said, quote unquote. Not guilty. He will prove himself guilty. Not guilty. You mean not, not guilty. guilty. I've, hey, it's all right, it's all right. Not guilty, yeah, man. Yeah, we all mess up, it's hey. all right. You know what I mean? But look, uh, man, I don't even know. I don't even think it's that relevant. I, I honestly like it ain't about basketball. Like you deal with that on the side. Like I ain't really. I'm here to talk about what's happening on the court. You feel me? But I mean, best of luck to him. I hope he ain't do it. That's your favorite guy. So how you feel about it? Man is innocent. <laughs> you don't rape a girl with a with torn, torn ACL. ACL. You don't do that. What can how you jump out of a window with a torn ACL? Like just think of how stupid she sounds. That was in the report. That's just exactly think, what just she think about so it. I want not, all of y'all to sit here and think about we're it. We're not making this stuff up, man. We just reported. Man. Like you that's know? exactly what the girl said. She said. You know, we definitely hope D Rose gets all that stuff squashed because he's easily top seven point guards in the league. We can talk about that later. We can yeah. talk about that later. We'll yeah. get to that later. Yeah. But you know, yeah. we're gonna add yeah. the next five in there just for you saying. You know, that. you know. Yeah. So that's crazy. Another news, NBA news. Um, Kyrie Irving from the Cleveland Cavaliers, point guard, starting point guard. Um, reports have been saying, of course, from Cleveland.com and ESPN.com, that he will. The Cavs are trying to hold him out until January for precautionary reasons. I do not agree with it because a, you can't put all your power into Mo Williams and still have Matthew Delladova off the bench. Expecting the team to be fluential. The Cavaliers this season are OC stacked. Easily. They're stacked as a mug. That bench is not, not precise. It's amazing. But I'd rather have Kyrie Irving starting in October than Mo Williams started from October to January. Then Mo Williams transitioning back to the bench. This is going to be a whole mix up. Kyrie's going to be a little rusty. I don't agree with that, Cavaliers. You know, I just don't agree with it. How y'all feel about the situation? I think, to be honest, I think it could be a good thing. Because if Mo Williams step in there early, he playing, he going to get a feel with the team. Yeah. So when they, because I, I think they going to go deep in the playoffs, okay. of course. So when they get there, he going to be ready, you know. Right. And yep. he, I think he, he already ready. He a veteran, you right. know what I'm saying. But, and Mo Williams, LeBron played there. They going to still be good to me, regardless. Ain't no, got LeBron. How you feel? No problem. They got LeBron. Yeah, got LeBron. I'm not working. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I, a Cavs fan. I hope they lose all them that going to game. You know, I don't, and I don't think it will affect the East standings at all. I mean, the Cavs are coming out first, 60 plus games. Snap it. Next topic: NBA predictions. You guys ask these questions, we're going to do them for you. You know, but we're going to get to your questions in a second, though. NBA predictions: Cavaliers championship. Easily. 60 plus games. It's a wrap. What's you, man? <laughs> hey, it's Steph Curry, man. 2P? 2P. 
MVP, man. Two P MVP, two P championship. How you feeling? Rocking with my Oklahoma man. Oklahoma City. KD. Russ and KD. The Zero. Best duo. And what? Like I said, in the preview, 3 5. Zero. And what? The D League? <laughs> nah. I promise they're not better than Kyrie Irving and LeBron James. Come on, bro. Who you think that? Yeah, I yeah. promise I believe that. You think? I promise <laughs> I believe as a duo, Kyrie Irving and, and LeBron James are better than Kevin Durant and Russell two Westbrook. Two top five players? How is two top five players not the best duo? Like Because they don't work together like greatness like Kyrie Irving like and LeBron did. Top five players. I don't care, bro. I don't care. And I definitely agree with you, Shawty. I agree with you all the way. But I just feel as though. Kyrie and LeBron work way together and more together than them. That's just my opinion. That's just my opinion, man. From this past one season, they was clicking. That's just my opinion. At first, they wasn't. I'm not going to sit here and say they wasn't. Exactly. They wasn't, you man. You said one season. Exactly. One season. And they have freaking man, five more man. together. LeBron's going to sign a max deal next summer you for five don't. years you just, you just with don't. a new TV deal upcoming next summer, 2016. New NBA TV deal will be instructed. So, you know, KD's a free agent next summer. So he could possibly get a $300 million contract. You know. But, you know. Okay. So, rookie of the year. That's a tough one. I, I mean, I, I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with... Uh, that, that's a tough one. Mm. I, like, I like Stanley Johnson, though. I, I like what I saw. But I think Kaminsky gonna be a good piece to the Hornets. I, I like Kaminsky. I just like that fit, and I think he gonna get a lot more touches than people like Towns, D. Rush. You know he playing with Kobe. Mm-hmm. Maybe but Okafor, nah. No, mm-hmm. But Okafor got his own little it. squad. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Exactly he can work out this year. So mm-hmm. I'm a, if I gotta just pick one, I'm, I'm gonna ride with Okafor. Okay. I'm gonna ride with Okafor. I got Stanley Johnson or D. Russ easily. Stanley Johnson and D. Russ can create their own shot. I mean, a lot of rookies can, but Stanley Johnson is just disgusting, nasty. And D. Russ is just disgusting, nasty. Even though he wasn't the best in the summer league, he didn't show out. Ohio State showed out. But I feel as though he won't be rusty in the season. He will come out and do what he has to do, at least averaging 14, 15 per season. That's just my opinion, 14 and 15. That's just me. How you feel, big dog? Hello. Doesn't really have a team. He could just take over. Otherwise, you know, D. Ross playing with Kobe Bryant, he ain't gonna get as much touches as everybody thinks. And I'm a D. Ross fan, but Kobe is gonna want that ball. He's gonna keep that ball. So I just feel as though they're open for by himself. Or like he said, Kaminsky, I can see Kaminsky taking that. That's a great fit. Like who else do the Hornets have at the power forward position? You're right. They got out of the average like, but I mean, he's a center like, technically, so you know, I do like Stanley Johnson yep. and Justice Winslow. Yep. I like them. Yep. I like I like a lot of players in this year. I definitely yeah. like Frank Frank and Messi. This 2015 draft has been one of the best in a while. And I can't say it hasn't. It's just a lot of young talent coming into the league that's gonna take the league for storm and I cannot wait. Uh um, championship. I got the Cavs. You got the Warriors, right? Mm. And Thunder. I don't really? want to say I, I got the win. I want to say I want them to win. Right. Because that's my favorite play. I want them to win. Right. But if I got to say who I think, like, if healthy, okay. Just, you know. Just, yeah, you believe in so healthy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That team he got. It's I like, feel as though that I think if KD and Russ clink, they can be the captain. I just feel as though that you just can't have two top five players on one team and not win the whole thing. Like, I just don't see it. And now that they know each other, like back when they played LeBron, we played for the Heat, they were some youngins. They ain't, and Russ wasn't who he is, today. is now. Yep, Russ is like, amazing. Let's but but then me. one thing I can say is I don't know how they're going to work together now. Now that KD understands that Russ ain't playing sidekick no more. But Russ, after the way he did last year, there's no side. He don't even deserve that. I, I respect Kevin Durant, second best player in the NBA, but... He don't get no edge over Russ out the way he did last yep. year. I agree. That's just me. Huh? I agree. All right. This is our favorite portion in the show. Ask 3 Live. Of course, you guys can send in your own questions to us. You can send it to our personal Twitters. Or you can send it into the 3 Live TV Twitter. 
sending any questions, any topics you want me and the guys to discuss, and we can do that for you for episode two, three, four, not five, not six, not seven, not eight, all of them, you know? First question coming from at the stacks. Thank you for the suggestion topic. We definitely appreciate it, big dog. From the up and coming rookies this season in the NFL, which ones will progress? Which ones will fall, guys? I do not like what I've been seeing out of Jameis Winston. Mm. Mm. And I thought he was, I, I was high on Jameis Winston. It's mm. crazy, yep. but he ain't thrown one touchdown the whole preseason. Yep. And he thrown a couple interceptions. I, mean, I think he was like 6 for 19 one game, or 6 for 50, something like that. Mm. But. I just ain't, and I and I like Mariota. I like what I've been seeing out of Mariota, but best best rookie I'm gonna go with um I'm gonna go with Mari Cooper. Yep, mm-hmm. he feels like he's gonna really then, progress yeah, into yeah, something I great. Think, I think yep. he, so, I'm, I'm, I'm high on him. Yep, I'm he's, a, he's amazing. And yep. worse, I'm gonna have to go. I mean, I don't want to say nobody worse, but somebody that's not gonna live up to expectations, I go. I go Jameis Winston. I don't yep, think he I agree with Jameis. I don't, it, I don't feel it. I don't think that Bucks offense ain't moving. That, that's that's really exactly what I was agreeing. We all agree that yeah. the B- Jameis Winston is going to fall just because of his offense of Death Shark. That's it. He had the talent. He has it. He's great. But he got the talent and receiver though. He ain't, ain't great. no excuse. He, he ain't got great. Mike he ain't, Evans. He ain't great. Mike Evans I, I, I ain't going to say great. You don't think Jameis is great? What'd he do? Hmm. I mean, he didn't lose a game since high school. Except last year. This what ain't he high do? school, though. What'd he do? Yeah, like, what'd he do? I mean, you ain't great. You ain't done nothing in the NFL. I mean, it's, you know it's preseason, though, fellas. It's preseason. I'm see, so I ain't going to call him sorry. I ain't calling him nothing yet. I don't know what he is. So I'm going to just let He ain't great. I'm not just saying that. We're going to see him right this season. Yeah, we're going to see. We definitely going to see. But I can definitely see another Vince Young out of him. Mm. Mm. Another, maybe bust. another one face, Jamarcus Russell, Evans down. Bust. All them busts. I can see it. They got the same body frame. I can see I it. Wanna Vince Young a bus. I want to call Vince Young a bust. I want to call him a bust. Who does he play for now? I mean, he, what did he do? He what does he good. play for now? Yeah, he ain't never Did he make the playoffs? Yeah, he ain't a bust. I don't think he made the but playoffs. But I know, nah, he did. He was nasty. He did good. Texas, he was amazing. And the Titans, for the Titans, he did pretty good. He was decent. I but he didn't do what everybody know. thought he was going to do. Yeah, but neither did Reggie Bush. Neither did like, none of the it's top. It's crazy. I thought Reggie Bush was going to be that man. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Pre- we definitely, again, we appreciate that question. Continue. Can D. Russ be a star in this league? We didn't answer that. I think he can. But will he is questionable because he don't got that mentality. But, I mean, he can develop it. Yep. But he will develop. You never know. I think Kobe. he will. I think Kobe gonna stay him. Yep, I think he will become a star. Yeah. But I he ain't gonna be a star for some years though. Like it's not this, it's not this year, next year. I might give him the third or fourth year. Yeah, I got three year here making an all star game. But third whoa, year. Whoa, 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 chill. You, you know how many West guards there are? Yeah, you're right. I forgot yeah. he was in the West. I forgot he yeah. in the West. My bad. My bad. <laughs> I forgot he in the West. So we all do agree he will be a star. It would just take some developmental skills and some learning and some maturing to do with Kobe Bryant. And of course, the second greatest player ever. This is one of our favorites. This is easily one of our favorites. Who are the top five point guards and who is the most explosive and all, all overall efficient guard in the league? Well, efficient guard, easily Steph. That's, that's that. Don't. Efficient? Overall efficient? Whoa. You can put CP in that though, you know what I'm saying? Efficient? CP very efficient. Come on, Trey. It's an easy question. You got Steph efficient? No. You got CP? I'm with CP on efficient, but you know explosive is like, it's rough. It's easy. Explosive rough. Easily. Easily. What? Now, D Rose is the old him. I don't know. Right. Because it's nasty. Russ. Like, Russ. it's OC. Russ. Russ has way more athleticism than D Rose, bro. I, you can't say nobody got way more athleticism than D Rose. They might be more athletic, but they don't got way more than Russ. Russ got way more athleticism than D Rose. Russ is way more athletic 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 than you, you just forgetting that 2010 11 season. I mean, a lot of people forget. It's hard to remember yeah, when somebody just did something. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to go back. It's hard to go back get it. But D Rose was doing this. Whatever thing. y'all say, fellas. Whatever. Top five point guards. Top five point guards. Um, Corey, go first. Star, I, star, I go, go first. I mean, because I know mine. I know, I know mine. I know mine. I know mine easily. Steph, Russ, Chris Paul, Kyrie Irving. You know. Um, dang, what happened? I just got a brain freeze. You can go ahead, get back in. Me go. Russ, Steph, 
Kyrie, Chris Paul, D Rose. Straight up. I got I got Rush. I got Steph. I got Rush, Steph, Kyrie, Chris Paul, John Wall. John Wall fans might be mad. Steph, Steph Russ, Steph Russ, Chris Paul, Kyrie. I get John Wall there. I get. Also, oh, a lot of Wizards fans is gonna be mad at me. Then. I get John Wall. Okay. John Wall, he, I, I like the way he played. He, he looking for everybody else. It's like, I like, I like John Wall. And a question from a Twitter name, and it's not appropriate for camera. Who do you think is the best rookie to come out of the draft? What was the question? Who do we think is the best rookie to come out of the draft? Next question. Yeah, we got. We think the best rookie to come out of the draft is either right, next question. D'Angelo Russell, Stanley, or Frank the Tank. That's it. We want to answer all your questions, but try to diversify your questions. You know, don't send the same questions. You know. I mean, they wouldn't know though. They, they definitely all in the DM. That's oh yeah, fault. most so definitely. It's, not, it's, it's definitely fault. my fault. Yep, you're right. It's Shout my fault. Y'all for the love. Man. We definitely appreciate all the love. But uh, next time, I will make sure for episode two, I will make sure the questions. Everything, everything is good. Time. Everything is in order. You know, we love to answer all these questions, but we continue to answer the same questions. So. Will the stars who came back from injuries, how will they impact the league? You know, for example, KD, Kobe, um, Paul George. Just for those names. I think, I think it's great because everybody come back. I mean, who don't want to see everybody performing, doing yeah, their thing? You know? It was definitely. Like, I who definitely, don't want to see KD going off? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, I definitely agree the NBA wasn't the same without Kevin Durant last season. Y'all Even got, though Russell got, Westbrook. Come with some harder questions, man. Russell Westbrook yeah. was the man. He was great, but. Kevin Durant is the man. I'm just ready to see the Mamba back in action. Shout out to my Kobe fans, the Mamba Army. You know. You're already, man. And he also asked the projected playoff race. Um, you see, the East, I can break it down. Cavs, Bulls. You going eight? Yeah, boy. Cavs, Bulls, Wiz. I know it's kind of a stretch. Bucks, fourth seed, Raptors, Nets. I probably put the Hawks way down, but I don't like the Hawks. Seventh. Yeah, I don't like the Nets at all. I don't see where you. Eighth. Um, Who's their point guard? Who's their point guard? I don't know who the eighth seed is, but yeah. You don't know. Basically, who's coming out the East? You don't know. It's the guy. The eighth seed. <laughs> This, Anthony, the Knicks will not win. Remember this: the Knicks will not win over thirty games. I will continue to repeat this as much as I need to. <laughs> the Knicks will not win over thirty games. The if the Knicks win over thirty games, game. they're going about thirty-one games. The Knicks no. are going to be the eighth seed. It Anyways, how they season? No. you never. Man, they got Aaron to follow Robin Lopez. They, they, they got some. They like, going to They got yeah, like thirty. The like, Knicks are not that good. So the They're Nets not, are better than the Knicks. Yes, the Nets are a better all-around team the than the Knicks. What's, what's the other dude they got at point guard? Jared Jack at the Knicks. Jerry and Grant. Jerry and Grant. He's not gonna do nothing. He's gonna average like five points. Like I said, oh, Chris Tapps was. He's gonna, average more, he he he's gonna average more than Chris Tapps. He's gonna average more than Chris Tapps. Yeah. Heck no, boy, you out of here. He wasn't a fourth pick for no reason, Shorty. Come on, bro. Something just. He was a fourth pick for no reason. No yes, reason. Are you serious, bro? Yeah. You can't be hurting me right now. You're hurting my feelings, playboy. You're hurting me. <laughs> You're hurting me, man. You he's can't garbage, be, though. He's not yeah. garbage. You can't be garbage and be a fourth seat in the NBA, son. He's 7 3 without Greg great just talent, yo. Food. Right. I'm just letting you know Greg Oden got drafted first, fool. Whatever. And KD <laughs> got drafted second. That's all I'm saying. Look, that was the end of the first three live episodes. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We enjoyed doing it for you. Please continue to send in all your questions and your suggestions. We thank the fans and we thank everybody, all the supporters for watching this. We hope you enjoyed it. Signing off, Tyler Green. Tiz go live. Follow me on Twitter. Corey Nander. K-R-Y-D-O-E. Yes, sir. One loading. Just one. And I know that means. Three live. Signing off.